Actually, I'm just going to repeat what a bunch of the ladies behind me said after this movie ended. About seven of them were behind me. After the movie ended, the one in the middle said, Well, I guess I'm not choosing movies anymore. This movie's horrible. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Black Christmas. Now, you might be wondering why I went and saw this obviously bad bad movie. Well, I went and saw it with my friend Mark, who is a big fan of the original movie, which is a Canadian cult slasher horror movie classic. Then there was a horrible remake done in the early 2000s, and now we have our second horrible remake, which is Woke, and it gonna be broke. In short, this movie is about a bunch of sorority girls that are being killed off by this brotherhood of overly stereotyped male me too wannabe douchebags. This movie's so damn heavy handed I kept expecting anvils to fall from the ceiling in the movie theater. The movie is so literal with its points, it's nauseating. And probably the greatest crime of this movie is that it's boring. It's very, very boring. For a movie that's only 93 minutes long, I felt every single minute of this movie. It took until over an hour before I actually had a mild in terms of a scare. It also rips off horror movies. Like for instance, there is this part which you can clearly tell is a terrible buildup for a scare. It is taking forever for it to finally happen. And when it does, you find out it's actually a terrible ripoff of the big scary scene from Exorcist 3. Don't know why, but it's in here, and it's horrible. Every scare is such a predictable setup. Every scare is such a boring execution. I'm amazed at how lazy this movie is. There are so many technical errors, there's so many goofs, there's so many production mistakes, there's so many continuity errors that this movie is gonna have a goof train that's about like 20 pages long. It'll be longer than the script. The characters are either boring, one noted as hell, are incredibly predictable. Nothing about this movie offers anything different, or if anything, it offers the nauseating extremity of what you're already used to in every single horror movie you've seen. This movie clearly has an agenda, and the agenda is the movie, and the story is just pitter-patter alongside it. The film's message comes to a hole in the last 10 minutes, which by the way, the last 10 minutes of this movie is completely different from the rest. First 80 minutes of this movie is a slow, slow drag of absolute boredom. But then the last 10 minutes of the movie tries to be like this grindhouse sort of picture where it's all these intense zooms, there's this over the top music, there's a weird stupid slow motion brawl in this room. There's a conspiracy at the end of this movie that is just so whack, Mark and I were dying with just how ridiculous this was. It's a boring movie. It's a horrible remake. It is pushing an agenda that's just so ridiculous. It's just so heavy fisted that it sours the whole movie experience. There's a way you can put messages in a movie and still have a narrative. But this movie just wants to push an agenda. It just wants to push a message. It's clearly not working because all the ladies behind us didn't like it. Black Christmas is by far the worst movie I've seen this entire year. It's boring. It's predictable. It's a travesty to horror. It's a travesty to women in filmmaking, to be honest, because this is just going to ruin everyone in this movie. This is definitely going to be a stain on the Blumhouse name because it's just a get woke, go broke sort of situation. Because you took, apparently, from what I've heard, a good Canadian slasher horror movie and you just somehow made a remake that's even worse than the last one. Black Christmas gets a 0 out of 7. I was going to give it a 1, but I gave Crawl a 1 and Crawl is horrible. But it's better than this! Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm actually going to link Mark's written review in the description below. Mark does some really good written reviews and I really wanted to show it. So if you guys want to read it, he'll probably go into a little bit more detail and have a little bit more aspects than I would. We both hated this movie. It's so dumb. Anyways, if you like the video, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, 
We'll see you guys soon.